I'm literally living for this outfit like so much. You have no idea. Like today I was walking around and I'm like, I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hello and welcome back to my channel. We have another haul. I I know. Um, but this one is a thrift haul, so that means that I spent a lot less money than I would if I actually went shopping, like actual shopping. So I'm justifying it. I have a lot of the things I actually bought already on, so that's super exciting too. And yeah, let's just discuss. The first thing I got is actually this hat, which I got from Target. I got two things in this haul from Target, so thought I would talk about it too. It's just a super cute hat with a little palm tree on it, and you guys, like, I'm actually obsessed. Like, I've worn a few different hats before in my life, and I've always hated how I looked in them. Whether I would wear it for actual, like, sun protection or whatever, I just never liked how I looked, and actually this hat makes me makes me kind of happy. I don't know, I'm into it. And I believe it was $14.99, which honestly I don't know if that's a good deal on a hat or not. I'm not too sure, but I'm just like super obsessed with it and I just, I don't know, I like how it looks and it's fun. I have a black hat that I think I hauled maybe like six months ago or something. It's completely plain, just black. And I feel like that looks awful on me. I think maybe having a little bit of a design on it actually helps. I don't know, but I really like it and it feels super fierce. I got it in like the tie section. So I don't know if this is like technically a man's hat or not, um, but as you might tell from my haul, I basically buy men's clothes all the time, so it's fine. Next thing I got was from the thrift store. When I say the thrift store, I actually mean Savers, so if I say I got this from the thrift store, I got it from Savers. But as obviously all thrift stores work, you can't go in there and find the exact same piece that someone chose in a haul or your friend got, so it's all give and take and stuff, but you can definitely find similar pieces or inspired pieces, that type of stuff. So this is what I got from the thrift store and this is an extra large in men's. I love shopping the men's section when I go to the thrift store. I feel like um, the women's section, at least in my opinion, at least the store I always go to, it's very like bright and neon and like animal prints and stars and polka dots and like stuff like that. I feel like it's a lot more just like a different style than what I'm into. So this is a lot more my style. So I'm obsessed with this. I love this. It's just so nice. And the material itself is very soft. It's like not, it's not like normal shirt fabric. It kind of is like lined a little bit. I don't know. It's really nice. I'm very into it. It's huge. So I just have it cuffed and I love how it's kind of like an oversized jacket kind of thing. It's just, it's super nice. I'm a big fan of this. And then I got this gray shirt which is what I'm wearing it with. Obviously, this is just what it looks like. It's super casual. The brand on this is Joe Boxer. I believe this was a large. I don't know anything about this brand. You know, it's just a random brand, but um, yeah, I love this. And actually, it is a long sleeve, as you can tell, but in my opinion, this looks a little weird. So I'm just kind of scrunching it up just because I like the look of this. I think it looks super cute and layered. And I actually wore this entire outfit today with this hat, just some black leggings, and then my um, white and black Adidas, and I just thought it was like such a good look. So I'm a big fan of it. Love these pieces. Um, I love getting flannels at the thrift store because they're huge, they're so oversized, they're bulky, and they're manly, and they're masculine, and I like that style in my flannels, so I'm a big fan of this. Moving on, this is kind of a weird thing I got. This is from the men's section, but, oh, it's actually the same brand, that's so weird. This is from Joe Boxer again. Um, I feel like this is something my grandmother would have worn. Honestly, she was always wearing like crew necks that were like this. And I thought this would just be nice if I was going to class and wearing leggings and sneakers or I don't know, I might wear this with jeans, like maybe ripped up jeans or something. I might do something with this. I'm not really sure. Um, by the way, all the pieces I got from the thrift store were, I believe like $6.99. This was $3.99 and I think one of these things might have been $7.99, maybe, or $5.99. So basically, they were all under $8. Um, and I only ended up paying $23 at the thrift store, which was a great deal, let me tell you. But yeah, this is just what it looks like. It's so nice. I'm a big fan of this. I like how it's just a simple crew neck. I wear this crew neck I have from Maine, actually, all the time, and I love it. So I kind of wanted something else I could wear, too. And this, I like it a lot, but the only bad thing about it is that the bottom right here doesn't really cinch in so it just kind of like out you know what I mean it's just kind of like like that like the bottom is just kind of like open I guess compared to like um, cinching at your waist or like the elastic band being more tight so that's the only bad thing but other than that really really like this can't wait to style this and wear this I don't know what I'm gonna wear it with yet but stay tuned I guess we'll we'll see for sure 
And the last piece I actually got from the thrift store was another one of these like waffle kind of shirts, like the same thing I'm wearing now, basically just in a nice like eggplant purple plum shade. And this is from the brand Trails End. I got it in a large. I thought this was really nice. I already put this in the dryer and I found that it kind of did shrink a tiny bit, which makes me sad. So it's not as oversized, it's actually a little bit more tight on me. It's still oversized, but it's a lot less oversized than it was, um, which kind of makes me sad, but yeah, it's cute, and I think I'm just gonna wear it maybe like with a flannel over it like this, or um, I don't know, just like casually with jeans or sweatpants or even to bed or something. It's such a nice quality, like it's so thick, and I like the shade, so got this as well. And the last thing for my haul is this from Target. This is from the brand uh, Champion. I got mine in a medium, and you guys, I am obsessed with this piece and when you see it you're gonna be obsessed too keep in mind i wore this a few days ago with this hat so oh my god you can't keep coming out so like i was saying i wore it with this hat which just looked killer so this is what i got oh my god like are you like are you breathing still should i like wait a second this is insane basically it's just like a pullover windbreaker track jacket kind of thing i guess um and it just you know like kind of goes over like that and then just has normal sleeves and stuff but it's really cool fabric because this is like a see-through layer um, and then you just have like the actual fabric a little bit further down and I'm kind of disappointed about this this is $40 which is really expensive the only downside or gripe I actually have with this is that where like the arm meets the body I guess of the jacket it's kind of itchy so I have to wear a longer sleeve shirt with this otherwise I can't wear it like I'm so um, what's the word uncomfortable I guess with like anything being itchy that I wear so that's the only sad part but I wore it with like a black shirt and it looked fine you couldn't really see the black shirt it didn't really matter but yeah just something to mention but this is so so nice the bottom just kind of like flows out like that it has a pocket and then the sides you can like zipper so they kind of flare out a little bit more but I have mine zipped and oh my god you guys I'm just like oh, I love and that's it for the haul. This was like a really quick video, I know, but I still wanted to come at you guys with a thrift haul. I've not done one of these in like two years or something. When I went thrifting the last time, I feel like I might have included some things in a haul, but I'm not even too sure. I just felt like going thrifting and I went with my friend and we got some great pieces and stuff. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know below where you like to go thrifting, whether it's like Savers, Goodwill, a random local boutique or something like that. I've honestly found the best luck at Savers. I've never tried to go to Goodwill or anything. I don't know why I'm like so casual right now, but I guess I am, guys. I guess I am. So thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, comment thumbs up, and all that jazz. And I will... What's my outro? Trying to get... Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, comment thumbs up, and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. I literally forgot my outro for like that much of a second. Oh, it's scary. Bye. Let me love you till you feel alright